Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from July 17th to the 19th. This is for Geminis, or my Geminians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody. Of course it won't, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment, but let me tell you what I got so far. We have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Gemini. We have the Judgment card. The Wheel of Fortune the five of wands and why did I feel that with that card and the ace of swords I felt like a major shift with this card this wheel of fortune okay let's get this message from spirit and see what's up for you Jeb Okay, they're saying remember to lighten up, and you usually are. If you find yourself being pulled down, Gemini, they're saying remember to lighten up. And you're a master at that, Gemini, so. Take important steps to make your dreams become a reality, Gemini. Don't take your hand off the wheel, they just said. So, okay, Gemini, if you started something, you need to finish it. Yes, I said it, Gemini. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there was some sort of ending, right? This could have been past, present, future, right? Hmm. I feel like, Gemini, you're going to have some sort of epiphany. And it's related to this ending. Somebody that backstabbed you, betrayed you, right? Lied to you. It just said this epiphany will come to you when you're under the, under the what? Under the gun? I feel like this epiphany is coming to you in a strange way. It's like, hmm, I'm feeling pressure, right? So there's this pressure and then poof, an epiphany. Okay, it's like when you put, you know, when there's so much pressure in something and then it just explodes because the energy has to go somewhere, that's what I'm feeling. And it comes out of nowhere. But you will be clear. You will be clear in this clarity will lead to a major uh, healing for you regarding this situation. Now, the... Wheel of Fortune is karma, right? It's destiny. So why are you fighting destiny? You know that's impossible. Well, nothing's impossible, but you know what I mean, Gemini. You're not going to be able to... Okay. King of Pentacles is clarifying the Ace of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this pressure, like you're going to be under the, under the gun in relation to your career, in relation to <clears throat> whatever it is you're doing. So I feel it's during like you're going to be busy, 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 right? Really, you know, into whatever you're doing. And it's going to cause, I don't know if you're going to be under a deadline or, yeah, 
some sort of deadline either you set for yourself or your employer something tell me about this epiphany with judgment tell me about this epiphany with judgment five of pentacles in the page of swords I feel like you realize that the feeling of the feelings of lack, abandonment, the lack of anything, right? Money, uh, love, anything were unwarranted. Like they're not needed anymore. Okay, so I feel like yeah, you're standing in your your power here right and the, you just get this epiphany like why am i doing this like it's not serving me so you decide to cut it away and it's as simple and as quick as that but sometimes that's just, you know it's just the way life goes yeah so clarifying the wheel of fortune is the two of swords so there was something that you did not want to see in relation to your destiny Ooh. Ooh, what is it that Gemini doesn't want to see? That's Libra's energy. What is it that Gemini doesn't want to see? Let's find this out, Gemini. I'm curious. What is it that Gemini doesn't want to see? Mm. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Okay, whatever it is you're doing right now, Gemini, this is your destiny. And I feel you, you're, you're not yet fully embracing that. Maybe this, okay, this is going to require patience and passion, okay, and determination. And a need to open up your heart space more because I feel like whatever you're doing now Gemini you're stuck you know it needs to expand but it's like you're not wanting to see it don't know why well so there's a struggle there's this internal struggle right and you're planting your seeds right you're being you're trying to be patient Okay, and waiting for these seeds to flourish and going towards your dreams. However, there's something important that you're not seeing that is destined for you and it holds the key to this, this destiny. Tell me about this struggle. Tell me about this struggle within, whoops, <laughs> sorry, Ted, Gemini. Ah. You're trying to find peace. Okay, that is the Six of Swords moving on from turbulent waters. But I, you're trying to find the peace within. But again, these cards are like jumping. Yeah. Okay. I feel that you will, that's the Libra energy, you're going to cut out this struggle because you're going to realize with this clarity, right? Why am I doing this? This is just the feeling of lack. I can't keep doing this. So I need to put my business hat on. This is who the emperor pulls out of his ass to get shit done. The king of swords. And that's exactly what you're doing. Because I feel you just get to the point where you don't want to be stuck anymore. You're like, I know this is something. I know it's like, it's almost like something you can't put your finger on, right? But it's there. All you got to do is take off this blindfold and unblock your heart chakra. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, please. Oh, these cards, man. They're just like... 
Ah, the magician, the hermit, and the seven of swords. <sighs> yeah, I feel like you're seeing the self-deception that you've held that's been keeping you from your destiny, Gemini. This is a huge epiphany. This is a huge epiphany. This is going to open up everything for manifesting. Once you have this epiphany and you do and begin what needs to be done, bam, 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 bam. It's like it, it's going to happen quickly, whatever this destiny is. You're, you're hopping on your wheel. It's like the wheel begins to go again. It's speeding up because you're not running away from your destiny anymore. You're not stuck. So what is your advice for Gemini? Yep. Eight of Pentacles. Keep at it. Keep at it. Okay, because this is your destiny. This is your path. Yep. Ten of Wands and Nine of Swords. Get out of your head. Don't overthink. This is anxiety. This is being kept up at night, right? Um, don't push too hard. Relax when working, okay? Relax. Don't overwork. Because in overworking, this is, this is where this comes in. It's sort of like a stalemate. You're stuck. You're stuck. Okay, but you're going to get unstuck and you're going to hop on this wheel. Yep, and you're going to go forward. This is huge, Gemini. This is huge, I feel, for your future, for your destiny. This is karma. This is good karma coming back at you. But the lessons that you're going to learn along the way, wow, they are major epiphanies and they are major blessings waiting for you. Okay, gems, I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a great weekend, Gemini. Look at this. Wish fulfillment. Yep. Okay, Gemini. Um, whatever you're looking to manifest, don't say a word, okay? Keep it to yourself. Go quietly. You have a great weekend, Gemini. I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.